The future of San Diego Pride was the focus of a town hall meeting tonight. The longtime executive director abruptly resigned three weeks ago, and now new leadership is taking over. CBS 8's Jenny Day was in Hillcrest to find out what's coming next. Two people with years of experience at San Diego Pride have been named the interim replacements, but they said tonight they don't have any plans to officially apply for the job. So the board of directors is saying that that decision to hire a permanent replacement will be swift and whoever that is will be taking on and supporting one of San Diego's biggest events. <laughs> San Diego Pride, an event that started as a grassroots march, now attracts around 300,000 people annually. The interim executive director, Serafina Scapiccio, and Jen LaBarbera say you can expect the same in 2024. There are no plans to change any of our current programs, um, to change anything about Pride Week. We need to make sure pride is strong, our volunteers are supported. The organization first formed in the 1970s to help with health-related resources during the HIV and AIDS epidemic. Since then, San Diego Pride has distributed $3 million to organizations locally, nationally, and globally, from education, advocacy, legislation, policy, and civic engagement. It's just an honor to like be a, be a part of what really changed my life. Noah Lomax sits on the board. As Pride, we serve our community, and so it's really important that we listen to our community. So while there's been progress, there's also been a lot of change. What are they doing to keep uh, the LGBTQ plus community in the public eye in a positive light? The majority of tonight's town hall questions focused on the executive director, Fernando Lopez Jr., who resigned at the end of November. The board still not commenting on what happened. As it is with any personnel decision, there's not really anything that we can share about that. What I can say is that organizations grow and change all the time. The board has selected a local executive recruitment firm to assist in the nationwide search of a new executive director. Pride faced criticism, though, following Lopez's departure and admit they lost some monthly donors. I've been an active activist for 20 years. I don't know any of the board members. Um, that's a problem. But they have also received an outpouring of support and want to reassure the LGBTQ community they remain fully committed to the mission of fostering pride, equality, and respect for all. Now, if you were not able to make it tonight, your voice can still be heard. There's a virtual session happening on Wednesday at noon. I'll put the information on how to register on our website. Just click the help button. We're reporting tonight from Hillcrest. Jenny Day, CBS 8.